Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Carolina. I'm doing a tutorial today. I'm just, I already started, so I'm taking this off. First of all, can, can I just talk about these patches? Like, if my whole skin could be this, um, this juicy looking, I would be very happy with that. I wanted to quickly mention these patches. These are the Nine Talks Hydrogel Eye Patch Moisturizing and Nourishing from Calimara. I got these for $4 at Marshall's. So definitely wanted to, I was about to pull my ear. Um, definitely wanted to mention these. I've had these on for about 10, let's be real, 15 minutes because I was walking around. This is the Extra Hold Edge Stay Gel. I got a little mini one at Target. And this is the little comb that I use to um, make my hair, you know, flat. Because my hair is very curly and my hair has no product in it. And my hair looked really crazy today. Like, I look, it looked like a bird's nest. Um, and that's okay. <laughs> but for the video, I didn't want it to look like a bird's nest. So I went ahead and put this in. So I definitely wanted to mention um, this little Cantu product with this little comb. I got this comb from El Salvador. So that's where I got it from. I got it from El Salvador. I requested it from like when somebody was like traveling and this is the one they, they brought me. Um, I actually got it like I, I was trying to look for something even tighter than this because they have this one comb that's like 20 maybe 25 years old <laughs> that we have and it's still like sturdy and it's um the the t like the teeth on that comb is very very tight like it's tighter than this um but that one we use for like cradle cap because that runs in my family so this was <laughs> I wanted to like mention these two because my hair it needed help. Becca Skin Love. This is the Glow Elixir. I picked it up for $10 at Marshall's. Definitely wanted to mention this pearl. I'm going to shake up the product. Definitely don't want to forget that step. And I'm just going to open it up like this. I really like the bottle. It's a glass bottle. I really like that. Oh, that was like just mixing it up. Because, okay. So originally, I had pumped it out and didn't, like I didn't shake it up. And this is how it came out. And then shaking it up, this is how it came out. So I was like, and this is three drops and this was one. So that made a huge difference. I have nothing on my skin. I had sunscreen on earlier. It's it's later in the evening. Before I forget, this product smells so good. I don't know what they put in it, but it smells so good. Like I was walking around because I had put it on my hand earlier and I was like showing my mom and my sister and I was like looking at it on the skin like to see how it looked in the light. Really liked how it looked in the light. Um, just want to make sure that's dry. I'm just going to go in with, I love this product. I got this at TJ Maxx for $6 and it usually goes for $21. This is the Marc Jacobs Youth Quake. You guys, I love and adore this product. I like how it feels on the skin. It's like a gel, a gel moisturizer. That's, that's, it's, that's how it's described, but that's also how I, I have perfume on, but it's like been on for like a couple of hours. So I don't think. Cause I usually don't like, I like to do perfume last cause when you start doing stuff with your neck and then if it's on your neck and yeah. <laughs> then you touch your face and then it's on your face and then your perfume smells like, you know what I mean? But this, this is, um, the other product product is fragrance, but I like how it smells. It's not, it's not overbearing. It's very soft. I like it a lot. I'm just going to put this on and then I'm going to roll this in. I'm going to roll this in with this little guy right here. A friend gave this to me. Oh, it's cold. I put it in the fridge for like the whole time I had the mask on and then I just went to go get it before I started. And it like the instructions were to, um, this was like a birthday gift. <laughs> so I just want to say that like, thank you Lala for like sending me this. Like this was amazing. Love you girl. Um, but yeah, love this right here. And I did like, it's supposed to be, you're supposed to roll it on your face and you're supposed to like put it in the fridge for like a little bit or the freezer and I put it in the freezer. Um, and it feels good. It's like, since it's big, it like really gets in there. Like I could feel it all up against my, my bones. <laughs> I could feel that. Like my cheekbones, my, my mandible, all that. It covers like a good chunk too. <laughs> oh, I saw something. Okay. While I'm doing this, I'm going to share something funny what I saw there. Something that I saw the other day. Um, there was a girl. <laughs> It tickles, sorry. There was a girl that, um, oh, they were talking about like a hack. Like you use like ice cubes in your food while you're cooking it to like get like the fat out. You use an ice cube. So they took, 
to pick it up and move it. So this girl puts it right here, like on her double chin of the girl. I quickly wanted to mention this kit before I go off and like get this sponge wet. Um, but it does come with a brush and a, what is this? Concealer brush, which is a good size. I really enjoy this kit, um, like kits like this. And this is going for $5.99. For a primer today, I'm going in with the Marc Jacobs primer. This is the Blur, Blur Affection. Yeah, I got this a little while ago at Marshalls and I picked this up for $7. I'm gonna go in with the MAC Strobe Cream in Cold Light. I got this little mini in a kit back in 2020. Um, I got this, what did I get it with? I got it with a highlighter as well and a brush, but I'm just gonna use this today. A lot, a lot came out, so I'm just gonna put this on the back of my hand. That's the color right there. Going in with that brush from Real Techniques, that little kit, just going to buff in my foundation. I went in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in the shade Y365. I like to mention shades because a lot of people kind of want to see what, sh what colors you use. Like I know if I watch somebody's makeup video, I'm like, yo, what shade did you use? Because I think I'm that shade. Off camera, I filled in my brows using the Precisely My Brow in shade number six. And to conceal my brows, I went ahead with MAC Studio Fix, um, what is this called? Studio Finish Concealer in NW20. These did hit Marshalls, but I didn't find my shade. I found like lighter shade. I got this brush from Marshalls for $16.99. This is the NARS Eda brush. Just wanted to show you guys before I got rid of the box. Brand new, just going right in. This is the um, matte bronzer from Milk Makeup. I picked this up, I think it was, I think eight or nine dollars, maybe 10 max. I know I didn't pay more than 10. I'm just gonna load up my, my brush as so, and then, okay. I'm just trying to see how this brush performs. Okay. I'm like trying to look at myself. Mm. I'm like putting this cream on and I'm like, hmm. Oh, I like it for this part right here for sure. Like how it just like glides on like that. You're not here. That's all I gotta tell myself. You're not here. Cause that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> The nose you could still do it for the nose i was curious but i'm right-handed so that like was easier for my right hand like on the right side of my nose right side of my face it's like harder on this side gotta hold it differently and then i'm gonna this is the tricky part getting that little part right there i'm gonna flip it on this side because i didn't use that side I'm just so curious if I could use this brush, everything for my nose, which it looks like I can, which is nice. I've always wanted this brush. I'm just way too cheap to get it, like to pay full price. It looks different. It looks way different here than it does here. I'm about to fix it, don't worry. This side of my face using the sponge from Real Techniques. I'm just gonna do the rest on camera because just wanted to like well I listen to my scriptures while I'm not on camera like that's I'm always listening to my scriptures listening to like emails or something like that like I'm always trying to like look for God like I need thee every hour I know it's like I need thee every minute like I need thee all the time <laughs> all the time Lord all the time that's so bad I'm not done here See, this is how it looks. This is from Milk Makeup. This is a holographic stick in the shade Mars. Definitely wanted to mention it. I think I paid 
it was something really cheap, like $5 or something like that. $4.99, $5.99. It's been a while. I already threw away. I just want to look at it before I put it on. I'm like, is it going to ruin my look? Which it is. It is going to ruin my look because it has like a, or will it? I think it was just like the angle that I had it at. No, it looks fine. I think it was just like the angle because the angle looks, it looks more like peachy at the angle that I'm holding it at. Like, look, hold on. Just so you guys can see. That's it right there. Oh, it looks fine. I think it's just like when I hold it at this angle, it looks weird, but like it's completely fine. I'm just going to put some in the back of my hand so my my hand can warm up the product and then I'm just going to take it from straight on from the back of my hand to my face. My hands are clean. I did wash my hands beforehand. Uh, beforehand. Before. I just... I, I, I always recommend that. I, I like to hit it right there. It's the most natural um, place for highlight on my face. For concealer today, I'm going in with the Milk Makeup Concealer. I have two shades here. This is the Flex Concealer in Vanilla and Golden Nude. It's been a while since I've pulled these out. Definitely wanted to like come back to them since these are more of, um, what I was going to say, like you don't need to use powder to set them. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm just going to mix the two colors in because vanilla can be like a little too much and this other shade can be a little too dark. This is the MAC blush that I picked up a little while ago. This is in the shade So Natural. This is a Glow Play blush. And I picked it up for $12.99 at TJ Maxx. The MAC 130 brush. I've had this brush in my collection for a really long time. Just gonna, I pressed it in, so I'm just gonna like pushing it in now, just to like with the brush as well, packing it on. And then we're gonna see. You're gonna see how this shows up on my skin tone. Going in with the shade Lady from Patrick Ta. I'm just gonna, it's a cream shade. So I'm just gonna, this on and I just wanted to mention it because this is what I put in my crease. I just wanted to see how this eyeshadow works with it. By itself, I mean you probably see it by itself, see how it dries down. This is just the color place down, this is buffed out. I just used that concealer brush in the from the kit and it, since it's soft, I just go gently in. From Laura Mercier, I'm going in with the Lace Touch Eye cheek and lip gloss and this is in the shade Le Cefer and this is going for $7.99 at TJ Maxx. Definitely wanted to mention this pearl right here. I've never tried it. Definitely wanted to just do a little bit. It comes like this. Brand new. No one's ever played with it. I do check my product before buying. I'm just going to put a tiny bit on my hand. See how this... Oh, that's pretty. Since I am going for a more natural glossy look today i'm just gonna put a little oh that's pretty that's really pretty i'm just gonna put a little bit right here see how this goes i have no eyeshadow no nothing on my lid i'm just gonna see how this goes I'm just gonna put this over my whole eyelid. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm just gonna do that on the other side. I don't care. I like how it looks. This is the amount that I put down. I just kind of like play with it, play with the formula, see how much I'm... And like, it comes out like white and then when you touch it, it turns into like a goldish. I just put a tiny bit. For lipstick today, I'm going in with the MAC Love Me Lipstick. This is in the shade Daddy's Girl. And I did pick this up for $7.99 at TJ Maxx. Definitely wanted to show you guys this packaging because this packaging is so cute. <laughs> I did swatch this color, love it. And I'm gonna go in with Baby Lips from Maybelline. This is a Color Bomb Crayon. 
So I'm just gonna go in right here. I like to mix these colors in. This look is a process. I went ahead and put Morphe Love Bite. I did pick this up at TJ Maxx for like a few dollars. I don't remember how much right now. Can't recall. I like to mix these colors going back and forth, back and forth. For mascara, I went in with the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. I did pick this up in a duo pack for $12.99. Um, that one's just mine. I just put a little bit on. I didn't want to do too much for a really low natural look. The last thing I'm going to go in with is my makeup setting spray. And I'm just going to put some on my sponge. Like, just want to like show you guys what I'm doing. I'm just going to put this on and then I'm just going to put this into my skin and I'm just gonna press this in. Since I'm not doing any um, setting powder, I am doing a setting mist. And that's a little trick that I wanted to like tell you guys about. I wanna share that with you guys. And I'm gonna do this all over my face and I'm gonna set my face with this. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial using my makeup pearls from TJ Maxx and Marshalls and few other little stories but definitely wanted to mention mainly all of them were for TJ Maxx and Marshalls and I really enjoyed how this look came out. It's a very natural look which is what I was going for. I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are safe. God bless you guys. Bye guys.